crafting, budget friendly, a uh, perfect hostess gift idea in my opinion and uh, I think you guys are going to like it. We're going to do a cute gift idea for a hostess. All right. A couple years ago, my sister came up with a really cute idea. And it's actually, at one point, it went kind of viral. These little Dollar Tree salt and pepper shakers. See them? They're snowmen. I'm going to show you how to do them. I actually bought different salt and pepper shakers today. Uh, because I love the shape of them. They weren't at the Dollar Tree, they were at Walmart. Uh, but see how they're round? They're by Mainstays. You know that Walmart generic brand? Well, we're gonna do round ones today. Yeah, now these ones I just used as decoration because initially I had painted the top, you see? Now the ones that I'm doing today, I'm not going to, so I can actually use them at the table. Um, but I did these ones like two and a half years ago, about two years ago. And um, I still bring them out every Christmas and I put them on my shelves and uh, a lot of ladies has made them since. They uh, sold them at their craft fairs and you only need a few supplies, like I said. I bought these at Walmart today. They come in a two pack by Mainstays. I wanna say they were 357, you know how everything ends in a seven there, something like that. And I liked them because they were round. And I thought those would be cute snowmen. So, now I've already painted one. And I'm using my chalky paint today, as usual. Um, I already put it on a plate. But I use, I've been using Waverly chalky paint or Deco American Art, whatever chalky paint that you like. I'm embarrassed to show the bottle because it's a mess. But it's by Waverly, you get it at Walmart. And the color I'm using is just a straight up white. So I'm gonna take the cap off. Like I said, I already painted one, all right? First I did the front and sides and everything, and then after it dried, I did the bottom. Just to have it finished. Just use a regular little cheap paintbrush. I already put my paint on the plate. Okay, and I'm gonna dip my brush in the chalky paint. And then I'm just gonna paint the glass. And I'm gonna go as far as the rim because I'm gonna put the cap back on and then these will be usable. I won't have to worry about, you know, any toxic paint or whatever getting in the salt and pepper shakers. So these traditionally take about two coats of chalky paint to get a good coverage. Um, but we will decorate the other one. I just want you to see the gist of it. I'll show you guys my apron. I kept two aprons for myself, one for painting and one for cooking. So I actually have my apron on tonight and it's super comfortable. And I like it because there's a pocket in it and a deep pocket. You could keep recipes, your phone, utensils. That was important to me to have a nice deep pocket. I gave this one coat and then when that dries, I told you, I'll go in and do the bottom of it. So we'll let that dry. And then we're going to decorate the snowman face that I did the other one. All right. So this one is all dry. All right. I have a Sharpie. And I cut a little piece of orange ribbon for the nose. You don't have to use ribbon. You can, you know, use an orange Sharpie if you have it but I cut out a little tiny triangle for the nose. So let me move this down here. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hot glue the nose first. That way I know where to put my eyes and mouth. So all you need is a little dab of hot glue. I cut the orange ribbon out like a little triangle. And let's see, we'll put it about here. And I put it a little, you know, sideways. Okay. And then we're gonna make the eyes. Can you see what I'm doing? 
Now I'm no artist here, but all you have to do is dot this, so it's not that hard. Dot there. Dot there. And a couple dots for the mouth. We'll give him a nice big smiley face. Make his eyes a little bigger. There's the face. And then I'm gonna use some ribbon. I bought this little ho, ho, ho ribbon. Cut a ribbon. And I'm gonna tie it around the neck. Just under the lip, that way when we put the cap back on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, instead of making a bow, I'm gonna make it look like a scarf. So I'm gonna double knot it. And then I'll cut the excess. But this is a cute little hostess idea. If you're going to someone's house, you could even fill it up with a little salt and pepper put it in a cute bag and voila how cute is that yes to both but see how cute and simple that is now if you don't have orange ribbon which i actually see some of this ribbon is not right i'm gonna i'm gonna use the other piece that i have some of that came off. But I put the nose on first. Like I said, if you have an orange Sharpie, that's even better, but it's no big deal. This ribbon is kind of fraying. But anyway, you get the gist of that. So we'll have two of them, salt and pepper. And even if you wanted to, you know, write an S underneath or on the back, you can do that, you know, do an S or you know on the front so that's it guys how easy is that again another quick easy project um, these ones are from the Dollar Tree I think they come in in a set I want to say for a dollar and the round ones that I bought today are from Walmart um, like I said I like them because they're round it doesn't get easier than that you just paint anybody can make some dots and a little mouth and you're good to go. So that's it, I use chalky paint, a Sharpie, and some ribbon. And the round salt and pepper shakers by Mainstays. And there you have it. And if I wanted to, I could have put like some wax on it or distressed it. So this is my apron, guys, just in case you never saw it before. I'm gonna stand up. But here's the apron. I wanted to show you the back. You'll see my butt, but there's lots and lots of room here. See how long, big, and wide the tie is? So, really, I mean, it's it's even good for a plus-size woman, a skinny woman, a medium-size woman, no matter what you want. And then the front, like I said, is a nice deep pocket. I mean, my hand is all the way down in here. The neck is adjustable, so all you have to do is hook it through see how that goes and if you want it tight you just pull it up but see it goes right through the loop pull it up give it a little knot and there you go but I think it's flattering too that's what I like about it it's it's comfortable it goes with your you know forms to your body so no matter what um, it's going to be comfortable I don't see it being tight because look that's pretty long strap. It's really comfortable because like, I don't even feel it now, but if I wanted it tight, all I'd have to do is just, you know, make a tighter knot. But it's like, I don't even feel like I have anything on. So I think these make great gifts for your mom, for your sister, for yourself. Mine, this is my painting one. I actually did get a little paint on it, but that's okay. Cause it's my painting one. And then I have a cooking one.